If you're struggling with things to talk about, if you every time you go to, to talk to someone, people think you're boring, and you don't really, you don't know how to keep a conversation going, just stop. <laughs> yeah, back in the room with the space light. I know you boys love nebulas. There you go. It's a fucking huge nebula for you. But this is my most requested video as of late. And I think it's because there's a lot of pain associated with young men. When you're trying to find your way in the world, you're trying to make friends, you're trying to speak to women, trying to speak to other men, and you don't know how to communicate. You don't. You feel socially awkward. You don't know how to be social. And the whole situation brings you pain. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you deal with social interactions, how you become an extrovert, a social butterfly, somebody who walks into a room and can really own it, who can speak to anyone, who when they leave the party, everyone raves and talks about how interesting you were, that you were the most amazing person to have a conversation with. I'm going to teach you exactly how to be that guy. But first, I was not born social. I was born shy. And my dad taught me to be social. I had a very interesting upbringing because I went to America, the United States, in Boston when I was nine years old with my whole family. And I became very shy and introverted. I didn't want to speak to people. When you go to a new place as a young kid, it's quite unnerving, unsettling. I couldn't look people in the eye. I couldn't speak to anyone. And my dad noticed this and he very quickly put a stop to it. So whenever we were at a gathering or a new place, he would task me with going to speaking to five or six different people, introducing myself, smiling, looking them in the eye. And then I'd have to gather information, ask them questions and bring it back to my dad. It was like a game that we played. Now, over time, my fear of interaction with adults and therefore interaction with everyone at that age totally dis disappeared. I, I overcame the fear very, very young of talking to new people, of introducing myself, of approaching. I've been doing it for a long, long time. The reason why I want to bring a point to this is because most people think being social, being extroverted is something that you're born with or you're not. And that's a very common misconception. Being social is a skill. You learn it. It's like riding a bike. So don't worry if you're not social now. You just probably haven't been taught by someone. Let's say, for example, your parents are very shy you are most likely going to be shy because often we're not born extroverted, but it doesn't mean that you can't become extroverted. You just need the practice. I'm going to tell you the most important tips that I've been given and that I use on a regular basis. So to start, let's get into this. Let's make you a social wizard. Let's make you the Albert Einstein of conversation. Let's make you a gorilla of social interaction. Let's make you an absolute peregrine falcon of social interaction. Let's contact, body language, smile. These are the most important things on the approach. These are the things that I needed to learn. They were the first things my, my father taught me. I was very grumpy, like as, as a kid, like kind of scared and like scowling, looking down. Give my precious. My lips is a little horrendous. Give me my precious. No one's going to come up to you and speak to you when you're being like a golem. So what you have to do is you have to open up. You have to have a bit of pride in your appearance. You have to look people in the eyes. And then the other thing is, if you walk around looking everyone in the eyes, you can get some some bad looks. You can get some bad responses. So the key is the smile. You've got to have that confident body language got to look people in the eyes but you open with a smile when I started smiling when I walked into rooms rather than scowling and strutting about with open body language my life got so much easier because people come in they see you for the first time and their first impression is oh he looks like a friendly guy I'll talk to him no problem that's what you need you need that on your side a smile costs you nothing but you gain a lot of respect from people and you gain a lot of friends with a smile whereas if you're the guy that's always scowling head down Instantly people think he's not a nice guy and it puts you on the back foot. So I urge you to work on your smile, work on being friendly every place you go. So eye contact, look people in the eyes, occasionally look away, look at their mouth, look away to the side, look away to the side, look at them in the eyes again. Have open body language, don't too much like that, too much in the pockets. Just open hands out, use hand gestures, be relatable, tell good stories, smile, get that smile out. Hello everybody, nice to meet you. When you do something like that, everybody's like, they, you're on, they're on your team. They're on your team at the end of the day. If you're going in places, yeah, you are, yeah, you are, John, yeah, 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 I'm all right. People are like, oh, God, who's this guy? You come in, you're all right, everybody, yeah, nice to meet you. They might think you're a bit silly, but they're going to like you at the end of the day. Moving swiftly on. Ask questions. 
social interaction is very, very easy with women, with other men, with family members, whoever you want. It's all about asking questions. You have to find out very quickly, if you let someone talk, what makes them tick. Find out what they want to talk about. So you start talking with someone and normally they'll, they'll give you some hints. How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, very good. What have you been up to? Oh, I've just went fishing this weekend. Oh, right. You, you fish often? Yeah, yeah, I love fishing. You know exactly what you're going to talk about now. That person loves talking about fishing. So that's what you're going to ask them. And you're going to listen like you've never listened before. You're going to look them in the eyes. You're going to hear every single word and you're going to think. Only think about what they are saying. Not what you're having for dinner later. Not what other work you need to do. Not what's going on on your phone. Put it all away and listen because people very rarely get listened to properly and people actually listen to every word that they say. And as soon as somebody sees that you're really, really listening, they get this overwhelming feeling of like warmth and gratitude towards you because nobody gives them the time of day very very rarely do they get listened to in this manner so if you want to be liked if you want to be the guy that people rave about in a social situation all you have to do is actually listen to what somebody says and not just wait for your turn to speak like everybody else does that is the art of socializing people will very very quickly let you know what they care about and you can just totally indulge them and let them talk about whatever they want and in return most people ask you a few questions the best way to handle this i found is most people don't really want to hear too much about what you've got to say so say a couple of nice things so for instance someone might ask me oh you're, you're in thailand i heard you're in thailand yeah yeah i'm in i'm in thailand it's really good i've been living there for a little while now having a great time the weather's brilliant and then you go have you ever been and most people go yeah, yeah, we, we, we did go on holiday in Thailand once. And then you ask them about that situation. You, you return the, the favour, you get the attention off you and back onto them. Because most people just want to talk. And I'm particularly, I don't like talking too much about what I'm doing anyway. I prefer to listen to what other people are saying because you learn more that way. You already know everything you're going to say, but you could learn something from the other person. And finally... I f always find it very, very easy to have conversations with people when I've been reading a good book. And I think the reason why is because your head will constantly be filled with new concepts, ideas, things you're thinking about. You've got just such an abundance of new material, new things to talk about. So whenever I've been reading a new book, especially if it's very interesting, I will like to just discuss those ideas with somebody. And ideally, they've read the book as well. But if they haven't, you can explain the ideas, you can get their opinion on them. So if you're struggling with things to talk about, if you every time you go to, to talk to someone, people think you're boring and you don't really, you don't know how to keep a conversation going, just start reading more, start reading every day, and your head will be so full of exploding with new theories and concepts and ideas that it will make you interesting to talk to, even if you're just regurgitating books and then getting someone else's perception. This has always been a huge help to me, so I've always read a lot and always had a lot to talk about, because you're learning new things all the time. So, Boys, I hope if you're introverted, if you're shy, that you realise that it's something that you can change. You just need the practice. So start approaching people, start smiling openly in every room you go into, start reading books to have things to talk about, and most importantly, listen to other people when they speak and actually take in and don't just wait for your turn to talk. So I hope that's helped you. This gorilla is getting very tired, so it's time for sleep. It's time to go to bed now. The course is linked below if you want to join a bunch of other gorillas talk about social interactions, ask questions about business, testosterone, whatever you want in the WhatsApp group. You can join it in the community section of the course. You know what time it is. Let me just prepare. I wonder how quickly I can do this. Whoopa! That is speed. Whoopa! 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 You saying Pam? Pam! You saying Pam? Pam! It's a Pam! Pam! I'm saying Pam! Good night, fellas!